the G7 summit has begun in Italy, with global conflict, particularly the Ukraine war, top of the agenda. Italy's Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni opens the meeting. Cioè il G7 non è una fortezza chiusa in se stessa che deve magari difendersi da qualcuno, è un'offerta di valori che noi apriamo al mondo eh, chiaramente per, eh, come, per avere come obiettivo quello di uno sviluppo condiviso. Package. US President Joe Biden and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky are expected to sign a bilateral security agreement later on, which would use the interest earned on frozen Russian assets to help Ukraine's war effort. And of course, we'll... Although European officials have so far resisted confiscating the assets completely, an agreement has been reached between the G7 nations that the US can back a $50 billion loan to Ukraine using the frozen assets as collateral. But the US has said it will not commit troops directly to Ukraine's defence over fears it would be drawn into direct conflict with Russia. And although a political decision by the leaders has been made, the technical and legal details of the agreement still need to be worked out. And it's not straightforward. If the Russian assets are one day unfrozen, the windfall profits will no longer be able to be used to pay off the loan, requiring a burden-sharing agreement with other countries. But with a number of G7 leaders facing elections later in the year, the pressure to make progress on global security matters is high.